Hey, what's going on guys? It is your boy Jake Daniels and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top hairstyles of winter 2019 and 2020 because it is time for every single one of you to step up and improve your hair game. So these are the hairstyles that definitely attract girls. And let's be honest, we all want to attract the interest of our crush. So let's sit down today and discuss what all the cool kids are wearing for 2019 and 20. So I've done my research for every single one of you. And today my goal is to help you guys be remembered when you're walking down the street. I want people to look at you and think, damn, that guy's hair is fucking cool. So let's start off with personally one of my favorite hairstyles of all time. It's a classic timeless style that will never ever go out of fashion, number one on my list is the slick back. Now girls absolutely love this hairstyle, it's pretty badass and it does remind me of Danny Zuko a lot. I tell you what, if you're wearing a leather jacket, a white t-shirt and you've got a slick back, they're immediately going to come to the conclusion that you're cool, you're stylish and you know what you're doing. Like I've already said, the reason that you should go for the slick back is because they're just so cool. They give you that kind of mean look that girls really like and go for. The reason I always go for pomade is because that is literally what it's been created for, to give you that slick shiny finish to your hairstyle. I don't really think matte finishing products um, work so much with a slick back. They're more for like voluminous hairstyles. Feel free to enhance the hairstyle by getting a nice sharp fade on the sides. The slick back is what I'm currently rocking. I've got a nice little sharp fade on the side from my barber Nico. Shout out to you Nico. A lot of you guys told me a few weeks ago when I actually got this hairstyle uh, that I look like a Peaky Blinder, which Cheers. Guys, let me know in the comment section right now what you think of the slick back and what hairstyle you're currently rocking for 2019 and 20. The next hairstyle I'm gonna talk about in today's video is one that girls absolutely love and I still can't work out why they like a boy with curly hair. Now, if you've got straight or wavy hair and you so badly want a curly finish, then there's two things you can do. The first thing, you can go and get a hair treatment, which is called a perm. Trust me, this is gonna make your hair consistently curly. As soon as you get out of the shower, it's gonna be curly. As soon as you blow dry your hair, it's gonna be even more curly -er. Or you can watch one of my tutorials on how to get curly hair for the day. I've linked it up in the... Uh, I don't know which side it, I always forget which side it comes up, it's, it's in one of the sides right now. Or it's also linked down below in the description box. Go give it a watch because I'm giving you an insight on how I achieve a curly finish. And even though my hair is like naturally curly, but you still need to enhance the curls. So there's a lot of information on how to achieve that. There are a wide variety of styles you can go for when rocking the curly hair. Personally, my favorite is to go for short on the side. So like 0.5 up to a 1.5 and make sure the fade really does emphasize the hair on top of your hair because because that is what is the main attraction. Another option is to go for like the Jon Snow look. This is something I actually rocked on Joe's channel like when we done a collaboration absolutely ages ago. I've also got another tip. I know a lot of people are gonna probably like grow their sides out to make that curly as well. Personally, I wouldn't do that because it doesn't look that great. I think you should go for like a fade on the sides because fades are just so popular at the moment. The next hairstyle on my list I wanna talk to you about is the buzz cut. You all know my stance on this, don't you? But, and I do mean a big Kylie Jenner, but I'm starting to warm to it. I'm starting to think that the buzz cut isn't so bad after all, and I think it's gonna benefit so many of you guys, and this is how. There are a whole list of celebrities that have made the transition from longer hair to a buzz cut. There are plenty of benefits of the buzz cut, such as you're saving time, getting ready, and it's also very trendy right now. Personally, I think there's so many ways to modernize this style. A few years ago, people would just go for like a 0.5 all over or a 1 or a 1.5. I would actually leave it a tiny bit longer on top and also I would uh, focus on the sides as well. I'd go for like this fade, like a 0.5 up to a 1.5. This is actually something that you call a mid fade. Or if you're really adventurous, go for surgical lines. I know there's gonna be so many of you guys out there that really do wanna go for surgical lines, but you're gonna be sort of like a bit nervous and anxious to what other people think about you. Fuck them, it doesn't matter. If you wanna rock surgical lines, then go and do it. Don't let anyone's opinion of you become your reality. That is the fact of the day, guys. The next hairstyle I wanna talk about in today's video is dreadlocks, and I think anybody that wears dreadlocks are absolutely killing it. I think it's stylish and cool, and I know for a fact that loads of you guys out there should be rocking this hairstyle if you want to upgrade your style and also your image. One of my favorite artists, Travis Scott, has worn this hairstyle several times before in so many unique ways. I also I also want to highlight ASAP Rocky, who continuously wears this hairstyle, and he actually ties back some of the braids, which I think looks so dope. Guys, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the braids hairstyle, and who wears it better, Travis Scott 
or ASAP Rocky. The hashtags are coming up on the screen right now. Vote down below in the comments. On to number five, which isn't so much a hairstyle on top, but we're gonna talk about growing out your sides because I personally like fades. They're all for me, but I know some of you guys aren't gonna like fades and growing out your sides is definitely coming back because it looks so cool. Longer sides are making a bit of a comeback and it's easy to see why if you have nice straight hair or nice wavy hair. Remember that growing out the sides simply means that you have to go for a longer hairstyle on top, something like a pompadour or a sleek back. Having longer sides and a short hairstyle on top is a massive rookie error, okay? Do not make that mistake. The next hairstyle is the classic pompadour, which so many of you guys have probably had before. Um, except if you're new to this community, then I'm gonna explain in detail what it actually is because this video is actually aimed at you guys. Pompadours and sleek back hairstyles work best, I believe, when you're going for a shine finishing product like a pomade. Through experience, I would recommend the Blue Man Pomade or the Ruzel Pink Pomade. Just want to highlight the point, if you don't know how to achieve this hairstyle shown in today's video, I have so many haircut and hairstyle tutorials on my channel, so go and check them out. I'm gonna leave a bunch of them down below in the description box. So if you want the pompadour hairstyle, I guarantee you, you're gonna get it after watching a few of my tutorials because they are going to help you achieve the hairstyle that you desire. Always remember, a pompadour is swooped up and back. A quiff hairstyle, which is slightly similar, is up and forward. A lot of people get that confused. Also, I want to talk about the quiff, which is another classic hairstyle that girls love on guys. And it's different to the pompadour in so many ways. This is how you identify a quiff from a pompadour. Pompadour is pushed back and the quiff is traditionally pushed forward. My advice when styling a quiff is to use a clay product, which is firm, gives you a high hold. We're essentially after a matte finish here, guys. Because matte finishing clays always suit quiffs the best because we need a product that's going to hold our hair in place the whole day. The number one question I always get when going for this style is how do I achieve a voluminous hairstyle? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you wanna use a comb and you also wanna use a blow dryer simultaneously. And I am going to link a video down below in the description box on how to insert volume into your hair. It's pretty easy. And funny enough, that was the first video that I watched on YouTube which inspired me to make a channel myself. And the, and the YouTuber that actually made that video was Dre Drexler, who I still keep in touch with right now. So guys, those are the hairstyles that every single cool kid is gonna be wearing throughout 2019 and 2020. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's video. If you've got any video suggestions, anything at all, comment them because I'm gonna be reading through them. Also, don't forget to tell me what hairstyle you're going to be rocking for 2019 and 2020. And I'll see all of you guys in my next video. I am Jake Daniels.